Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. Hopefully you checked out our intro video to integration by parts, uh, where the formula comes from, um, and that you need to choose U and DV. In this video, we're just going to talk about how to choose U and DV. We have our system, which we call Lipet here, L-I-P-E-T. That tells us the order of preference for how we choose U between U and DV when we're integrating by parts. So going through the Lipet order there, we have the first one, L being for logarithms. If you have an LNX term or a log X term, that will be always the first thing that you choose for you, if you can. Second thing, inverse functions, inverse sine X, inverse tangent X, inverse cosine, things like that, inverse trig functions primarily. The third one, P stands for polynomials. So that's going to be algebraic expressions, uh, X terms, X squared, X cubed terms, etc. The fourth one, E stands for exponentials, E to the X, two to the X, those types of things where the variable is in the exponent. And then the last thing would be trig, uh, sine functions, cosine functions, tangent functions, etc. Okay, if we look at a few of our examples here, Lipet, L-I-P-E-T, my first thing I have here is x in my product. My second thing that I have here is sine x, that's trig. So I notice that p comes before t, so this is what I will choose for u. So in this instance, my u is going to equal x, and my dv will be the sine x dx. We won't do the integral, but we'll just go ahead and complete the rest of the substitutions here. So if u is x, then du would be dx. And remember, we take the antiderivative of dv. So if dv is sine x dx, then v is actually negative cosine x, and we would use our formula to complete this by parts. Looking at the next one, x squared, ln of 3x. So the x squared is again a polynomial, and our logarithm, of course, is going to be an L. So I have an L and a P in Lipit. L comes first, so this one will be my choice for U. And then I can go ahead and say that U is going to be ln of 3x, and dv is going to be x squared dx. In this one, the derivative of u du is going to equal 1 over 3x times the derivative of the inside 3 dx. So we would go ahead and say, I think, instead that du is actually going to just be 1 over x dx once we reduce. And then here, the antiderivative of dv would be 1 third x cubed. Okay, looking at our last example here, we've got x times inverse tangent of x. This x again is a polynomial. This inverse tangent or arctangent is an inverse function. i comes before p in Lipit, so this will be what we choose for our u. In this case, we'll have u is inverse tangent of x, and we'll have that dv is x dx. And then derivative of inverse tangent would be 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. And the antiderivative of x would be 1 half x squared. Okay, so if you want to see all of these examples worked out fully, we have a bunch of example videos for individual integrals, integration by parts. Check those out. We'll see you in the next one.